From then on, any aerodynamic advantages had to be hunted down on every square centimetre on the car's surface. Well, the first thing that hits the air is the front wing, and the front wing is simply an upside-down aeroplane wing. These big end plates on here, are to, to reduce the fact that the low pressure underneath the car will, uh, will be sucking air in, and the less air you suck in, the more downforce you retain. These bits here are for picking up air to cool the brakes. If you don't keep the brakes cool, the car reliability is destroyed, and it's very important, but unfortunately, it's very easy for the flow around these to flow inwards and disturb the side pod flow or the rear wing flow. And that it's surprising how important the brake duct shape is. The engine has to be fed with air. This is a turbocharged car, so it's got cooling air and air to keep the uh, compressed turbocharged air cool. And there's a minimum amount of air that needs to go through there. Every extra bit of air that you let go through there produces extra drag and takes momentum out of the airstream, which means that it isn't there to produce extra downforce. So as an aerodynamicist, you run the engine as hot as the engine manufacturers will let you, because that will give you the best aerodynamic performance. Round here, you have the problem of letting all the hot air out from the engine, from the radiators, and still maintaining good downforce from the wing. And so everything ahead of this rear is all orientated about not upsetting the flow here.